Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Before I get into kind of like what's happened since the last episode, um, which is going up this morning, hasn't gone up yet as far as I'm concerned. You should have already seen it though. But legit, as I was walking over here to start this vlog, my brain remembered a smell and the smell took me back to when I was like, five or six years old, sitting at the school cafeteria, smelling our Cuban lunch lady's version of beefaroni wafting in the air. And um, isn't it weird how brains do that? Because it does not actually smell anything like that in the house, but my brain remembered the smell in such a vivid way that it just like took me back 30 years. So um, yeah, just figured I'd mention that while it was still fresh in my mind. Also, hi, good morning. <laughs> it is Thursday. Uh, it's actually hell day today, but everybody slept. Thank goodness. Hey, puppy. Everybody slept. Uh, homie went to sleep like two hours earlier than usual. I went to sleep about two hours earlier than usual, and everybody got a full night of rest. So I'm hoping that that bodes well for the day. I also already recorded all of the intros and outros and things that I needed to do for tomorrow's video, which is good because I was really behind on that. And um, yeah, but <laughs> they did also just call us and ask us uh, to meet for our first therapy session earlier than usual because apparently one of the therapists at that center has COVID and so they're trying to scramble to cover her shift as well or her schedule. Um, so I actually have about 20 minutes to get him dressed and have him finish his breakfast before we get our day started. Ah, but I'm, I'm way more optimistic, even though it's hell day, I'm way more optimistic about today being a good day than I have been for the rest of this first week back uh, since our holiday break. So yeah, wish us luck, even though you're watching this several days after the fact. Happy Thursday. Hey there, pals. Happy Friday morning. Uh, last night sucked <laughs> sleep-wise. Uh, my son slept through the night, but it was just one of those nights that like, it was too hot. I kept tossing and turning. I feel like whatever sleep I did get was super light sleep. So um, when I woke up, I snoozed my alarm and I thought, oh, I need 10 more minutes. And then like three minutes into that, I was like, what's even the point if I didn't really rest? all night what are the next five minutes gonna do for me so i just you know kind of gave in and got up but um fridays are good i like fridays because we only have the one hour of therapy in the whole day and so what i've been trying to do since this one hour of therapy is relatively new is i've been trying to figure out how to best structure my fridays so that i could really get the most out of them try to maybe almost approach this as a three-day weekend. It just happens to have a one-hour interruption in it at some point. Kiddo just came in to, uh, to grab a puzzle and run. But um, yeah, so I'm trying to see if I can't figure out how to start doing my planner videos maybe on Fridays consistently. Um, the problem is, is that I need to be in a quiet space to do that. And I have my son running amok all over the house. So I have to try to time it in such a way where he's entertained quietly for, what, a half hour maybe uh, so I can get it done? I think it could happen. It's, it's easy enough to find a half hour in the day where everything is chill. The problem is being able to recognize that in the moment and say, ooh, this looks like a good time. Let me run off and do the video. Sometimes that's only in retrospect that I go, you know what? At about noon would have been a great time to do that video because he was so chill for about those 45 minutes. Fat lot of good that does me at that point, right? But uh, yeah, so today, for example, I've already done all the laundry that I need to do today, um, assuming that the dryer behaves, which we're, we're talking about replacing the dryer. But I keep saying, I don't know if I've said it on video yet, but I've been saying it to my husband and my sister mostly, who I've been talking about this with, kiddos back, um, <laughs> that 
My worry is that what if we replace the dryer and it turns out it's something to do with like the vents or something like that. Um, that the association would then have to do something about it wouldn't be up to us. So then we've gone and spent hundreds of dollars on a new machine that doesn't work any better than the one we currently have. Kiddo and his iPad seemed to be setting up camp, so I decided to relocate. Um, so we're considering changing the machine, but we still have to kind of investigate further to see if that's even worth our while. And um, we should be receiving my husband's new hammer drill today. And one of the parts that we need for our ceiling fan, because our ceiling fan is just really, really loud. And again, <laughs> um, this is a ceiling fan that's not new, but it's new to the room. We used to have it in the living room, and now it's in our bedroom. When it was in the living room, it wasn't making noise, but it is now. And the reason we replaced it is because the ceiling fan we used to have in the bedroom made the same noise. Now, my husband is opting for the cheaper possible solution first, which makes sense, because apparently the part that's causing that noise is a part that it costs like 10 bucks, and it's something that burns out on ceiling fans pretty commonly. So there's a possibility that we're gonna replace that piece and everything's gonna be fine and it's not gonna be obnoxiously nyeh, 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 all night long. But the other possibility, the less exp or the more expensive, less convenient possibility, is that there's just something wrong with the electricity leading to the ceiling fan. And so again, it would be a situation of no matter what ceiling fan you put there, you could buy a brand new ceiling fan and spend your money on that. But if you put it on this particular port or whatever, I don't know what the word is, um, it's going to make that noise because it's not to do with the ceiling fan, it's to do with the house. So there's a lot of little things like that that we're finding as we, you know, get, sink deeper into the, ah, this is our house situation, uh, the perils of home ownership, right? So um, yeah, but hopefully there's a solution to that anyways, and that should help us with our sleep a little bit because the ceiling fan is very, very loud and it's constant, just nyeh, 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 nyeh. Imagine trying to sleep through that, plus your husband snoring, plus a number of other things. So anyways, I've talked for a long time. That was not my intention this morning. Today, I'm gonna try to do my planner video. I'm gonna try to record an intro and outro that I need to do for tomorrow's video. And otherwise, just stuff around the house. Happy Friday. Hey there friends, happy Saturday afternoon. It's actually almost 4 p.m. and we're experiencing a sun shower. It's extremely bright out, but it's also absolutely pouring. Yeah, right? Um, it actually looks really nice out. The window's really, really dirty, but just try to ignore that. I'm actually not sure if you can tell how hard it's raining out there. Maybe just like focus on the water on the lake so you can see how much it's moving. But uh, yeah, it's absolutely pouring and yet it's super sunny out. I had very high hopes for today as far as productivity, and we have gotten some things done. I got the whole tree disassembled, um, the boxes at my parents' house though somehow, so uh, <laughs> I have to wait until tomorrow to put it away. But um, we did that, we did uh, pick up at Home Depot for some tools my husband needed for some home repairs, et cetera, et cetera. I've been having like weird tummy nausea things today though, I'm not feeling my best. And also a recipe that I wanted to record today, I realized I'm missing a central ingredient, so I'm not able to do that today either. So I just wanted to pop in and say hi. Probably gonna take it easy for the rest of the day. And um, tomorrow we're meant to go to my parents' house for the football game. They were supposed to come here, but then my dad decided, oh my goodness, my dad decided that he wanted to smoke some ribs. So I guess we're going over there instead. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on with me right now. So happy Saturday. Hey friends, happy Sunday. 
Uh, you know those dreams you have where you like really, really have to pee in the dream and then you wake up and it turns out you just really have to pee? Well, I dreamt last night that I was pregnant and I was in labor actually and I was feeling those labor pains. Oof. And then I woke up to the exact opposite <laughs> and I was in so much pain this morning. My hubby insisted on Advil and a bath and good thing I listened because that actually really, really helped. Um, but yeah, it's Sunday. I didn't do a whole lot as far as like productivity yesterday. Thank goodness I thought to do my planner video on Friday because otherwise I probably wouldn't have gotten done this weekend. Um, we kind of chilled all day yesterday thinking that today I'd make up for it and I, I no. So um, we're planning to watch some more of The Witcher today because we started that yesterday and we are hooked. Thank you to my bestie for suggesting it. I've, I was refusing for a while because of the the gore factor, but I'm glad I pushed through the first episode because it's really, really good. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to just treat today as like an admin day, you know, organizational type things, trying to get my ducks in a row for the week ahead, especially because a lot of the things that I meant to do this weekend, I'm going to have to just do throughout the week. But um, that's fine. Everything should all work out and hopefully the worst of it will be over by the end of the day and I'll be able to, you know, put my big girl panties on, so to speak, and get stuff done tomorrow and beyond. Happy Sunday. No sound. It's quiet. And look at how much yes, it's actually pushing. Nice. Alrighty pals, I'm here in my orange lit bedroom to wrap up the vlog. I honestly don't know how much I recorded this weekend. It feels like not much, so hopefully I recorded enough on Thursday and Friday to like make this a properly um, proper length video. So today was basically us lounging around and finishing season one of The Witcher. We binged the whole first season just this weekend between yesterday and today really really good we are definitely hooked um we also did a couple little things around the house like my husband changed the water filter on the fridge which apparently you're supposed to do every six months i doubt it's ever happened uh here anyway <laughs> and we got the right part now for the fan and my husband fixed it and it's so much quieter but he says that while he was fixing it, he realized that actually, um, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this already in this video, that it was either that we needed to replace that part or we're having an electrical problem in the bedroom. Turns out it's both. We did need to replace that part and it obviously definitely helped, but he says that it's pretty much a band-aid. What's going on is that we are having an electrical problem in this bedroom and that's what caused that part to fry in the like the first bit and this part is going to eventually meet the same fate and so on and so we could just keep replacing the part it's a pretty cheap part he fixed it pretty easily etc uh, and potentially risk that this thing's just gonna like explode one day and like start a fire or we can call in an electrician and get it fixed which who knows what that's gonna cost definitely don't want a stranger in my bedroom um, because, you know, Miss Rona and everything, but, um, all that being said, I'm, I guess, not really in a rush to get that fixed, mostly because of the whole potential COVID exposure thing, um, but it is something that we're gonna have to, like, keep in mind so that the first chance we get, we do get somebody in there to fix this because that's potentially quite scary. But yeah, that's just how it goes. You know, the longer we're here, the more we're noticing little things like that that need to be done, but it's an ongoing process. Just because we're unpacked, doesn't mean we're ever gonna be like finished moving in. And this definitely feels like home all the same. So whatever we gotta do to maintain it and to, uh, to make it better and make it fit us better, that's, that's fine with us. I'd love to know what you guys have been up to this weekend, so let me know in the comments. Um, I've already written down <laughs> in my planner to spend at least one morning this week actually replying to comments because I know I'm complete crap at it, um, and you guys are so sweet and so understanding about it, but um, 
even though this feels like a one-way conversation and then your comments are like the way back, I still feel like I should reply to those comments. I don't wanna leave you guys on red and that's literally what I'm doing. So I'm gonna try this week to try to reply to some comments. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that you're all staying healthy and safe and we will chat again really, really soon. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope that you will please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.